This right here is the Linux utility. You may have noticed I haven't been making very many videos over here, but this is something I thought was deemed worthy of a video. Uh, this is an actual sh script or a compilation of scripts uh, with a Rust wrapper around it. Now, what does all that mean? It means you can essentially come into here, go with curl, fssl, christitus.com forward slash Linux, and pipe it to sh. You might start to see a little bit of, I wanted to kind of bring what I did with the Windows utility into the Linux realm. And this will go to GitHub, download the binary, and launch into this. Now, in wrapped in that beautiful binary is all these cool stuff. Now, obviously, everything's open source over on GitHub. As with everything, uh, most of everything is written in Rust on the front end, and then a lot of scripts are in Bash. And some people are probably already going in the comments, why aren't you just using Whiptail or some fancy uh, already built-in a tool in Linux, like Zenity or those types of things. And frankly, I just thought they looked ugly and I didn't like how they worked. So I was like, yeah, how hard can it be to write one of these programs? And I'll just use a fancy language. I'll just go buy this book and get everything I need to learn and just write a Rust program because that's what all the cool kids today use. Ah, uh, Oh, how naive I was, but I digress. This right here is what we ended up with and it's starting to take shape. Mostly thanks to the open source realm. I'll get into the contributors and how all this was built because trust me, it wasn't just me. Now, all these are my customizations. So the idea behind the toolbox is to launch it and then simply say, hey, I want to set up Bash. I'm just going to remove my entire bash RC, right? So when we close out and we launch it, your, your shell probably looks something like this. Rather ugly, right? So if we just curl that command, or you could just run it. We could install it directly on the system. I haven't built that quite in yet. But for now, we'll just do this. And let's say we want to, uh, you know what? Grab my bash project, install it, and grab any dependencies I might be missing. All right, success, great. So then we quit out, relaunch. There's all my customizations back as it was. So all these things in Linux that were taking so much time, I used to make 10, 15 minute videos like three times a week telling people how to do these things and you'd have to watch the whole video and go step by step. I wanna get it to a point where new users to Linux, because I think there will be many, especially with some of the Microsoft shenanigans with recall. Don't worry, Windows Utility, I'm working on programming that out of Windows as well. And I haven't given up on Windows, even though I should. <laughs> uh, I still love the challenge. I've added a bunch of different things to this, uh, and it depends on what system you're on as well. Already, I can see people saying, well, I don't use Arch, I'm a Debian user, or I'm a Fedora user, or I use some derivative of those three, typically. Uh, don't worry. If you're on like Fedora, let's just say, hey, let's pretend we're on Fedora. We're just gonna use DistroBox and enter Fedora. And then we launch into it again. And then we come back. You'll notice, oh, that changed to Fedora. Well, oh, okay, RPM Fusion. That's a, that's a good Fedora only tweak. The idea behind all this is all those tweaks I was making when I was distro hopping and using different distributions over the years, there's a lot of things that are sometimes distro specific, sometimes not. And I wanted to include everything in this toolbox, which is kind of cool. So let's launch back in one more time. And you'll notice when we go back to Arch Linux, oh yeah, so we set up AUR helpers and we even have a little server set up here. What does that look like? Well, this is basically revitalizing Arch Titus, but doing it for someone that just wants a really solid Arch base, but they don't want to follow the install instructions. They just want to set up Arch in two minutes, 120 seconds. This will do it in that time period. So that's why I'm doing this utilities. One, just to save users a lot of time, give you a nice playground. Let's say you just want to mess around in VMs and you're a Windows user just trying out this whole Linux thing. The idea is to go through all these and change 
and set all these up to where if you want to just use a tiling window manager and you don't want to use like a big desktop environment like KDE and all that other stuff, I want to put everything, every script, everything I can think of, everything I use on a daily basis into here to where you're at your main page and you're like, hey, I want to change something with my monitor. Just type in monitor. Or, oh, you know what? I I'm doing a game modification today. I want Diablo 2 uh, loot filters. There's the loot filter install that I made for Diablo 2 Resurrected. And, and all these like tweaks for Linux is, is kind of what I've been working on these last two months. And uh, also coupled with 200 and something pull requests over on the Windows utility. It just hasn't left much time for YouTube videos. But just know, I'm still hard at work here. I haven't left YouTube or anything like that. I, I just want to make a really an amazing utility for everyone that makes your life easier, no matter the operating system you choose. And this is the, the beginnings of it. Now, a big shout out here, just to kind of showcase how this was done was a lot of this was the contributors. We've already had 34 contributors throughout here because I live stream three times a week now over on Twitch and, and also YouTube on Titus Tech Talk. I did want to inundate people's streams here on the main channel. And a lot of these contributors, like big shout out to just Linux user was the first iteration of the Rust utility. And then we had various improvements from like Alfonso and then uh, Liam uh, or LJ the user. He's done a lot of pull requests too, because a lot of this stuff, when it comes to Rust, I can write like hello world and some of the more simplistic things, but I have ideas that I can put into practice. But a lot of times it's these contributors refining this down into something truly uh, amazing that can be done at such a fast pace that we're able to accomplish a lot of things in the Linux realm. So be looking forward to this project, try it out. If you have any issues with it, you can always submit issues or it, let's say you're a programmer and you're fluent in bash or you, you have uh, some rust knowledge, look at my code. I'm sure it could get better uh, and definitely submit PRs if it, is, it indeed. One thing I do want to caution people about is make sure if you do submit something that goes in the global one and you can't make a hyper-specific uh, bash script for something. It has to work on every distro. That's the big thing. And that's one thing I'm working on. I have a common script library that I pull from. So a lot of these scripts are very small. The entire binary at the end of the day, I just did a PR to, to reduce this binary size, but the assets at the end of the day is about 1.5 megs. And I, you know, I don't want to sound like an old man, but I grew up in a generation where a lot of things were packaged into just ridiculously small sizes, this doesn't have to be a huge size. And the Linux utility is actually even smaller since it's a PowerShell script that was reduced from 800 kilobytes to 600 kilobytes. Having clean, proper performing code on all these things are something I always kind of obsess over. So I don't want a, a Call of Duty situation where I'm like, okay, download my 100 meg I'm sorry, uh, if it was Call of Duty, it would have been 200 gigs of data waste from a bunch of junior devs. Uh, <laughs> I want to get a clear, concise thing here, have everybody enjoy it. And I just wanted to give you kind of a quick update on this pre-release types of things and, and see what I'm working on on the Linux realm. I haven't forgotten about Linux. I still love it. I'm designing a lot of things to just auto set up, make it one click of a button and just have it work. And I look forward to this future, but also the Windows utility as well, though that is going very well. Uh, we just did 200 and something pull requests, which is a massive uh, inclusion in the project. And I uh, was still working on some removal of Microsoft Edge just recently changed yet again. So that one's not working, but it will. And then obviously I've been waiting for Microsoft to include recall in, I think, 24H2 to get coding on ripping it out. Ah, that's going to be maddening. Ugh. Makes me want to have a drink just thinking about it. All right. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I just want to update you on this next utility uh, update. I will do Windows and you guys should get a good update because we just did a massive update on the Windows utility and I look forward to showing that to you. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see with the Linux utility. Where are your pain points on Linux? Because I aim to fix 
all of those. And I know some people are already saying, hey, Titus, what about um, TTY? Or let's say you don't have a GUI. No worries. We have themes. This runs in the console as well. So if you are server based, don't worry about it. We got you covered. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.